Welcome back. Now to some new CNN reporting. Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, the um, firebrand representing Colorado's 3rd Congressional District, is now facing a tough race in November thanks to a series of personal controversies, also an undersell, an unexpected retirement, and a new redistricting map. CNN Capitol Hill reporter Melanie Zanona is here. She joins our panel. Uh, Mel, great to have you. Uh, This is a uh, rich topic. Uh, Walk us through why Lauren Boebert, who has become, you know, one of these sort of MAGA faces, although not entirely. I mean, some of this is just personal controversy. It's not even around uh, her politics, necessarily. Uh, why she potentially may not be returning to Congress. She definitely is in the fight of her political life right now. Remember, she almost lost to a Democrat last cycle. So she has opted to run in a new district, which is more conservative-leaning. But she has still got to prevail in a primary. And this is a very rural district made up with ranchers and farmers who care about agriculture policy. And she has been facing really pointed questions about her personal behavior and her conduct. But there are signs that she has not changed or tried to tone down her behavior, at least behind closed doors. I'm told that she attended a December gala in New York City. It was a Republican event. Donald Trump was headlining. And that the server who was coming to bring alcohol refused to bring her any more alcohol because they thought that she was overserved. Uh-huh. She also was trying to take pictures with Donald Trump, and eventually Donald Trump's security detail stepped in and asked her to stop doing that, according to witnesses who witnessed it and that I spoke to. Now, Donald Trump still did endorse her, so clearly he wasn't maybe that bothered by this incident. But a Trump endorsement alone is not going to be enough to put her over the finish line. So she is facing a very tough challenge in that June primary. So, so Mel, just to be clear, basically, <laughs> she went to a fundraiser in New York City with Donald Trump and got so drunk they had to cut her off and then tried to take repeated pictures with Trump and then they had to tell her, hey, lady, like, tone it down? Yeah, according to the witnesses, this is how it went down. And remind viewers here that this came a few months after that she got in trouble and had to apologize for her conduct at a Denver theater where she was watching a performance, a musical performance of Beetlejuice. And, you know, she got kicked out for vaping and being loud and there's security footage of it. And so this is just an it example. It was much more than vaping and being loud, <laughs> yeah. although I do, I, I appreciate your attempt Maybe to the keep P- this a family PG program. morning, yes, six morning. morning. Yes. <laughs> yes, there was a lot more going on. Like, people don't do that. It was a family theater. Um, I will say, Mel, there's also some undertones here with uh, those who have been kind of working to undermine Lauren Boebert. I talked to Tim uh, uh, Burchett, Congressman Burchett, uh, a little while ago. He's tight with Ken Buck, who is uh, leaving Congress in possibly no small part to prevent Boebert from winning. Here's what Burchett told me. So you think he is retiring or leaving Congress early specifically to prevent Lauren Boebert from being in Congress? I don't know if that's his intention, but there's a lot of talk of that. This is a made-for-TV movie, ma'am. <laughs> Made for, he's not wrong, right? Yeah. I mean, because basically Buck piecing out here denied her an opportunity to use a kind of a different mechanism to get, get this seat, right? Well, Boba herself believes that Buck did this move on purpose to try to kneecap, kneecap her. Now, I will say that last week there was a development that was a big boost for her because instead of selecting um, one of her primary opponents to fill out the rest of that term, they did select someone who's going to be more of a caretaker role. So that person is not going to be running in the fall. So that was a big boost for her. She got a big break in that development. But like I said, she's still got to go up against these other very pro-Trump Republican candidates in this district who are actually from the district and right. who don't have as much baggage as yeah, she Yeah, let's does. remember, she is actually a carpetbagger here. It's something her opponents are leveling at her, but it's very obvious. <laughs> Melanie Zona, love having you. Thanks. Great reporting. Thank you.